<clears throat> I need water. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We've seen tons of new volume in this space. We've seen tons of new projects go crazy. We've seen Azuki fly all the way to 35 ETH. A lot of things are happening. That's all I got to say. I'll be covering some new projects that I think can possibly do well, that have a nice vibe to it, that I feel like people are going to be drawn to. Also, I have a free mint that I want to talk about that's also a low supply. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be going over a lot of things. But before we get started, make sure to go follow the Twitter and go subscribe on YouTube. We're almost at 24,000 subs. First project, we have Mind Blown on Universe. This project has completely exploded. I think you guys all know about this project by now, right? Mind Blown on Universe is a project that actually already has a sustainable brand. You can see here from the creators of Tahila Lats. I'm not, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is a really big comic brand. We can see here that there's just tons of followers, tons of engagement. You can even see here one of the other artists. They're just a huge brand. I think that they have amassed millions of followers worldwide on all different platforms. So a lot of people already know about who these guys are, and there is still a chance to get whitelist for I think all of these projects that I'm mentioning. Some of them are going to be harder than others, obviously, but we can just see that this art here is a little bit of a different vibe. It's more of a cartoon theme, and I just personally am a fan of it. The art is nothing special but the vibe it gives is something different something that's already been out there but they're just turning into an nft project so they're not just you know sketching up something really quick just to make a quick nft this brand is already a recognizable global brand so this is what i like about this so going on to the next project we have verb this project has very little information out there i don't really know too much about it all i know is that they're going to be an animated collection and that they're going to be coming out probably mid 2022 they have a running animation a walking animation they even have some lore going on here so definitely keep your eye on this project because first First of all tons of engagement second of all it just seems like they're taking their time and they have ran a few whitelist giveaways but this account is not being ran off whitelist giveaways whatsoever it's just i think a few only and besides that it's a very organic following so definitely a fan for now obviously go check this one out do your own research on all of these projects and let's go ahead and get into the next one we have multiversal walkers this project is created by andrew boyd and i can see here that the artist behind invisible friends is following them so i don't know if that means that you know this project is co-signed by invisible friends because first of all, the art looks very similar, but that can just mean that, you know, they're aware of this project being out there. Maybe they are supporters of it. I don't know. But we can see here, it's like an invisible friend derivative that has some really cool long legs. I'm personally a fan again for this art. It's just something that's different. It's a little bit of a twist up to invisible friends. And hey, if I can get my hands on a whitelist, I'll definitely do that. By the way, I want to mention that some of these projects I do have whitelist for. So going through all the art, it seems like they have tons of different traits. And also want to mention that there's not really a lot of whitelist giveaways being put out here. There's only a few you so again not the whole page is being ran off whitelist giveaways it just seems like they actually have a real solid fan base here that is growing slowly and organically so keep your eye on this project for sure now the next project is bf party this project is by the nanopass team who has done very well recently nanopass floor has pretty much exploded all the way to like a 5.5 eth floor which is amazing to see because this project was like one eth two eth back when it minted like right off the bat and they've pretty much only gone up from there and we can see the charts here are amazing it's like used to be below one ETH and then it just has been going up. So congrats to them. Super cool. But going back to the BF Party project, it's just in the Nanopass ecosystem. We can go on their website. This is going to be a play to earn game and it seems like that their token is not going to be an on-chain token. So it might be like a in website, in-game currency. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but it's also going to be multiplayer and you can like own the characters through NFTs, which is going to be cool. More information I believe will be coming out down the line, but here's a trailer. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the rest of this project on your own, you can do that. And this project obviously has 30,000 followers very quickly. It doesn't really seem like that they're running their whole page off of whitelist giveaways. You know, they're just kind of like teasing people here, giving them Discord invite codes. So uh, definitely keep your eye on this because I can see this one growing to be a very big project. Going into the free mint that I wanted to mention that was also a very low supply that I can almost say is going to do extremely well. This one is called Terrapin Genesis and this one's founded by DGens in the space. Here we have Domaz and then we have Elaine. You guys can go check out those two guys on your own if you want. You can see their backtrack records. I think they are docs so that's super cool to see this one is a locked discord so it's going to be hard to get into obviously the whitelist is going to be very hard to get into because it's a 333 supply but from what i know it's going to be a utility based nft project and they're also going to be having a hundred percent of their sales and royalties to the community wallet so that's insane that's amazing and for this project i don't even really think these guys are going to be making any money off this but it's a cool opportunity to get into something that's going to be very tight knit that's also going to be probably very profitable for you so definitely go ahead and check that out now a few things i wanted to mention were the open sea daily vault We've seen an explosion of volume from this little bit of a, you know, bearish sentiment that we had a couple weeks ago. And it's kind of just been up, you know, and now Azuki is flying. We can see Azuki here. It hit a 35 ETH floor earlier today. Honey water. 
but it's dropped back down to like 31. And we can see here using Flavel tools with the past seven days, they've had like 25,000 volume, which is mind blowing, really, really, really mind blowing. And from what I know, a lot of people are buying into Azuki as collectors, as people who are going to hold for the long term. A lot of these people want to use Azukis as their PFP. That's very understandable because these Azukis are fire. Now going into that, I feel like Azuki sparked a mini bullish micro sentiment in the market, which is super, super cool to see. They also had the airdrop for the beans official token, which I think each holder got airdropped two of these, which is wild. And it was super cool what they did. They just simply airdropped it in the wallet. There was no minting process, nothing. Now we can just see that pretty much everything in the Azuki ecosystem has been pumping. This minted at 0.01 ETH and now it's at you know 0.27. And a few more cool things to mention about OpenSea is that they're going to be integrating credit card options where you can purchase NFTs with the credit card. And then on top of that, they're going to be integrating Solana NFTs into the OpenSea ecosystem, which is pretty cool because now you can just hop on OpenSea and see Solana NFTs buy it with Solana, which is again, probably going to be good for these blue chip Solana projects, but I don't know about the rest. So whichever Solana projects are being integrated onto OpenSea, I feel like that's going to be cool for them. But obviously more eyes will be looking onto these Solana projects. And now I guess Ethereum people have to live with Solana people in the same place. So now both sides can make fun of each other. Awesome. Another thing I wanted to mention was that these newer mints have been doing exceptionally well in these type of market conditions. Kawami is one of them. These guys just minted recently. Now they're above a 1E floor, which is insane. Now there was another free mint that just dropped, what was called Sneaky Internet Friends. Two NFTs were airdropped to each person who was whitelisted. And this is insane because you basically got three ETH in value airdrop for free. And with this 1.2 thousand volume traded, obviously with 10% royalties, you're like, wow, that's a lot. But all of that money is going to charity. So the guy who founded this, Sneaky Ninja Pants, none of this is going to him. It's all going to charity. So props to him. That is amazing. And I love the idea. So with all these new different things in the market that I'm mentioning, Twitter has been feeling a lot more bullish. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Like and subscribe.